Good morning. I would like to share my wonderful journey. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful journey. Po. Yes, wonderful journey as a soon-to-be healthcare virtual assistant. So if you want to know more about the company and the experience, just keep on watching. Okay, so for our first part of this video, this will be very probably a very short video but with everything that I've experienced. So disclaimer po, this is my experience, probably iba yung my experience mo. And whatever would that be, I just hope na marami kang realize after that, just like me, is ano pa talaga an HPA or what is HPA? So HVA stands for Healthcare Virtual Assistant. Yes, so that means we are a virtual assistant in the medical field or in the medical industry. Uh, you are asking, sino ba ang qualified for being an HVA? So for this company, I am in HelloReach. Yes, I am a trainee here at HelloReach and I belong at Batch 65. Yes, and what they are accepting here are those applicants na my medical background at a uh, graduate medical related field. Practical nurse, pharmacist, medtech, PT, ano pa? and a lot more. And allied health. So, yon pedi yon midwife. And of course, the application process is depende yata, but in my case, it was one week. Mm -hmm. reply sila sa akin after four days. Four days after, nagreply sila saying nakulang yung application ko. Kailangan ko palang ipasa yung expired na NBI, but yung recent NBI. So what I did, they will accept naman yung appointment. Appointment na schedule mo for NBI. Screenshot mo lang yun, send, sinan ko yun at tinanggap naman. So after that, the next day, they were able to reply and they scheduled me for an exam. Pero alam niyo ba kung ano ang funny part? 4 p.m. ko na nabasa yung email. Yung exam is 8 p.m. Hindi ko alam talaga kung anong dapat ko prepare maliban lang sa sarili ko. Pero sige, nag-take ako ng exam without me studying or even look it up sa YouTube. So probably if you're watching this, just keep on researching. Para mahandaan mo, paghandaan mo yung self sa mga ganitong klaseng experiences. And uh, take ako sa exam. Fortunately, I passed and scheduled for interview that night. So, di ba? Straight, straight na siya. Uh, with my interview, simple lang naman. But I still suggest that you should prepare for it. Kasi nga, hindi mo din alam yan sa QA. So, be prepared for it. Be prepared for it. Or keep preparing for surprises. So, you'll never be pre prepared for something, right? Pero, mas mabuti na yung handa. Mga simple questions lang, but they are also assessing your personality, ganon. So, they are also doing that. And, fortunately, again, I passed the interview and then I am scheduled for the training. So, yun ang yari yan, last week of August. Last week of August, yung training namin. And, anong mata tayo? October na. If you're asking, how long? How long ang training? So, ang training will be 4 to 8 weeks. Depende sa trend ng, ng capabilities or qualities mo at yung skills mo. Depende din siya. So, it depends sa client. Say, while you are on the training, meron ng mga clients naghihintay ng mga potential VAs. Ganon. Yung training, my two major exams. We, those are phone certification and lab scribing. So yes, that will be your first exam, your phone certification where you're going to handle calls and different protocols and different situations and how you're going to deal with it. So for the next videos, probably you'll, I'm going to discuss those. But yes, yun pun dapat yung expect. And for the second part is live certification where you are going to be with a provider. Yan. So may idea na kayo kung anong dapat nyong gawin. More on making patient charts. C point doon na dapat nyong tandaan. And uh, yes, with my overall experience, it was really great. And mix emotions eh. Lahat ng pagdadaanan mo is mix, emo mix emotions lang. Walang halong biro. <laughs> Kasi hindi talaga siya easy. And you know, the training is free. 
bihira lang yung may magbibigay na free training ha. Yung ibang companies, wala sa binibigay na training. You're on your own. But with Hello Rich, they are giving you that free training. So, grab this opportunity na free pa siya. Okay? And before I am going to end this video, if I am going to give you tips, number one is be confident. Kasi kahit feel mo hindi ka qualified, pero meron kang confidence, push mo na yan. Okay? Second tip is be prepared. Hindi mo kasi alam kung anong pagdadaanan mo. Maliban na lang if you are an experienced virtual assistant. Right? Pero in this, in my case, hindi kasi ako prepared kasi everything is new to me and hesitating eh. Diba? Pag hesitating ka, doubtful ka, marami kang what ifs. Pero para sa akin, ayokong magtanong sa sarili ko ng mga what if. Gusto ko, subukan ko hanggat sa makakaya ko. So, yon ang dapat tandaan. For the last tip is, always keep the faith and never, never give up. Kasi nga, hindi siya easy na journey. So, for that, alam nyo na kailangan mong may makapitan. Yung faith mo at saka yung mga kasamahan mo. Make sure that meron kang mga kakilala na, na pwede mong sandalan sa mga panahong ganito. Kasi you will really need each other during the training. Hindi mo talaga masasabi na you're on your own. <laughs> Hindi talaga. And sabi nga nila, no man is an island. Okay, so yun po ang aking gusto ko lang ma-share for this video. And if you have any questions or clarifications, feel free to comment down below and I will be glad to answer that. Okay, so see you on my next video. Bye-bye!